In this video, we will install Blizzard's Battle.net software in Manjaro XFCE Edition version 21.0.1. couple of notes. I've already set the font size for the terminal to make things a bit easier to see and have run just a regular system update so as to get the latest kernel. Other than that, this is a fresh install on an old PC running a quad-core Intel i5 CPU with dual GTX 970s, which are not running in SLI. All right, so let's start with installing the packages we need to get running. We'll need the 32-bit libraries as well as wine staging for Battle.net. So we'll do sudo pacman minus syu wine dash staging samba wine tricks lib32 dash lib ldap and lib32 dash gnu tills. Now that that's completed, uh, we just need to install core fonts using wine tricks. We do that with the command wine tricks core fonts. And we just click to install it when the mono installer pops up. Okay, after that is completed, uh, we just need to install DXVK. So all we have to do with that is do wine tricks DXVK. Okay, after that's completed, um, I have seen some times where we get these weird messages inside the terminal. And what I end up doing is just closing out of the terminal after it's done and then reopening it. Your mileage may vary. The next step is just going to be to run wine config. So that's just wine CFG in the terminal. We want to make sure that it's set to Windows version Windows 7, which this is. However, what I like to do is actually click it. And then we'll go to Libraries. And under Libraries, we're going to install UCRT Base. So we just select that. And then we click Add. And now we click Apply and hit OK. And now we can exit the terminal and we'll open up Firefox. And since it's the first time I've ever opened it on this machine, just close out the extra tab. So now we're going to download Battle.net. Now, this URL may change at some point. However, right now, it's https www.blizzard.com slash en dash us slash apps slash battle dot net slash desktop. And we'll just click to download for Windows. And we're just going to save the file. And since this is a default install, it's going to go to the Downloads folder. So now what we can do is we can just open up another terminal. We can close out of Firefox, open up a new terminal. 
and then we'll just do wine tilde slash downloads slash battle.net dash setup.exe. And now we have the installer for Battle.net running. Uh, in my case, I'll just pick English US and hit continue. And for the install location, I just let it do the default. Uh, I do not want it to launch when I start the computer, so I just uncheck that. We'll hit continue. Now you just need to log in. After the install, I've found that Battle.net can be grayed out with a prompt behind the screen. The best fix I have for this is simply to exit the application and reopen it. And we'll just control C out of that. And exit the terminal. And then let's just try and run it a second time. There we go. Now we just hit continue. And of course you've got to click all these stupid boxes. And thanks for letting me know about how to learn more. There we have it. Battle.net is up and running. Now you'll see some bugs when using it. And sometimes you'll have to work around some grayed out overlays or some other problems. I'm working on some more videos where I'll install World of Warcraft and Hearthstone, so if you'd like to be notified of those or any of the other videos I'm working on, just hit that subscribe or follow button. Thanks for watching.